Immortality might be more of a curse than a blessing, according to science. Welcome to Trick Theory. And this is weird to say, as living longer to see how amazing the future is going to be is something I, and many of us, would likely take. Especially since the will to live is an incredibly instinctive behavior, one that makes us scared of being in dangerous situations, getting injured, and has directed much of human and any living being's behavior for that matter. Life, despite all of its hardships and challenges, is an adventure. One that we generally fear coming to an end. But what if it didn't? What if you were given the superpower of immortality? Over the centuries, arguments have sprung about on whether or not a human being becoming immortal or even simply living for a very long time would be beneficial or disastrous. In short, the arguments against immortality state that if a human or humans were to live for thousands of years, we wouldn't value anything personal achievements, our relationships with loved ones, any motivation we have to accomplish our goals would be thrown in the mud. Without death urging us on to go out and complete our ambitions, it all would simply be meaningless to us. Apathy, indifference to everything, and a never-ending boredom would kick in. Like a novel without an ending, there would be no plot and no point to doing anything. In addition to personal troubles, what if the whole world was to gain longer lifespans? Many might fear overpopulation becoming a raging issue, social dynamics that change as people get visibly older would disappear, and there's a looming fear that most everyone wouldn't try anything new without the Grim Reaper looking over their shoulder. The negative stances on immortality are of course sheer speculation, as we really have no idea if living thousands of years would be bad for you. On the contrary, it could actually be rather fantastic. Why would immortality be good? Given that there might might be different types of immortality, with the closest that we could ever hope to come to, through science and technology, being immortality from natural causes, like aging and sickness, with our bodies never failing us. When it comes to the good that would come from someone like you living a far longer and healthier life, we know that the longer people live, the wiser and more experienced they get. Having learned from more mistakes, they gain a broader perspective on things and can make more informed decisions. Also, if an individual was to live longer, they are more likely to take a longer term view when making important decisions, be more involved in ensuring the health of the planet and long term sustainability, rather than being a greedy corrupt individual who sees others as beneath them. And just think, if society was full of humans who lived much, much longer, what's to say they would get bored? Smart scientists could spend a much longer time researching and developing better technologies, vaccines, and developing seemingly bottomless fields like physics, nanotechnology, and genetics. We could come up with better housing and structures to handle our population as birth rates slow down. For others who may not be spending their time in the lab, there's so much else to do and explore. Amazing skills and experiences to have for centuries to come, if not more. And only more interesting things to do will keep coming up as we move into the future. You may still need a job to pay the bills, but as technology advances via smart people and individuals and companies are led by more experienced leaders, life may be a lot better. Better. Of course, this is if the whole population was in on it, rather than just one individual who would be living throughout the centuries. For this one person, immortality or a drastically increased lifespan would certainly allow them to experience advancing technologies and master many different subjects, likely gaining a small to immense amount of wealth, with their time horizon for pursuing a business or career being so much longer than anyone else. Despite this upside, possibly the worst thing they would have to deal with much like Superman giving Lois Lane a fountain of youth potion that she has to continuously drink, is they would eventually see everyone they ever loved or befriended pass on. And due to many different outside factors, they could either become a hero for those around them, a traumatized bum, or a villain with a horribly ambitious plan to save everyone. Either way, if you suddenly became immortal, it would be up to you to find a reason to keep on living, or multiple reasons for that matter, as you cross one goal off your checklist and find yourself having to pursue another, keeping yourself entertained from going insane as the years pass. Or maybe you don't actually need an ambitious goal to bear the weight of a long existence. Maybe that in itself is a belief that's being placed upon us. Much like a teacher once told me, you could graduate up the list from having to doing and ultimately get to the point of being. A point where you truly enjoy just living, because you are alive after all, simply existing in the amazing universe 
universe. A place where you get to pursue your passions, have a day where you sit on the couch drinking tea, not care about yet another troll comment. You can sit with yourself in a room and be okay. You essentially gain back your inner child that was excited about the world, about waking up to a new day, exploring or creating something new, before people in the world decided to condition you, to be quiet, to fit in, to have prejudices against not only others, but other skills and experiences that could be really fun, that may have been in good spirits at the time, but don't actually help you, and may even be plain wrong. Cause in my time as a teacher, I saw coaches and students who loved learning, and saw the extreme opposite in both. But besides losing our loved ones, and having to reconnect with ourselves, there are in fact a few extreme downsides to consider if you were to live forever, or at least a baffling amount longer than others. The first type of immortality superpower that may be the better of the two, is the pre-mentioned immortality from natural causes of death, or to be biologically immortal, with your process of aging essentially being cured, as you no longer have your organs and body slowly decaying until one of them fails you. If you were to become biologically immortal, you would still have to eat, but that's fine, even enjoyable. No, the biggest problem any of us would have to face is that we inevitably will get killed by an unnatural cause of death. That living forever, your chances of suddenly getting hit by a car, stung to death by bees, shot, or in the far future, ending up in a spaceship that breaks down mid-flight is practically guaranteed. Now, if we had an additional superpower of a healing factor or invulnerability, this isn't really a problem, mostly. But if we don't, then every day there's a 1 in 366 chance we end up in a car crash, with a 1 in 93 chance that car crash is fatal, a 1 in 208 chance of dying from a gun assault, a 1 in 98 chance of dying by falling, 1 in 485 chance of walking and getting hit by a car, a 1 in 2659 chance that one day we choke to death in our food, die by bicyclists, be sting or electrocuted, burn ourselves to death, or caught in a tornado or natural disaster, with the least likely to happen being dying from a lightning strike, a runaway train, or a plane crash. Unfortunately, over an eternity, it's practically inevitable that one of these will happen to you, and you will never know exactly when. But let's look at the real immortality superpower, the one that villains wish for with a set of orange balls, being physical immortality. This means that nothing can kill you, you don't need to eat to survive, and you can easily survive the deadly car crash or sword through the heart. Now this would certainly give you a ticket to seeing the far off future unfold, and for that reason it would be pretty incredible to have. You would see humanity gain cyberpunk levels of robotics, cure many diseases, and watch as we went into the space age, and find yourself in a galaxy full of intergalactic levels of technology that only your favorite series could imagine. But you would have to be exceedingly careful. Say that with this immortality power, you still feel the head on your pillow at night, the warmth of your shower, taste of your food, coldness of snow, meaning that you still feel. So if you don't upgrade yourself with robotics and buy some fancy space armor, you can still experience horrible third degree burns, getting smashed to pieces by a futuristic Tesla, or get holes put in you with a space gun. You're not quite invulnerable, you just can't die. Hopefully at this point our technology is so great that you can easily be put back together good as new. Above all, the big things you would have to watch out for is places where it would be too hard for others to reach you. Say if you were trapped on the bottom of the ocean, floating out in space, thrown into a star, black hole, or somewhere odd, you would have to live with it. Possibly until your body is completely destroyed and beyond. But if you're prepared and one of these horrible things doesn't happen to you, you will outlive entire society, civilizations, and live to see the last of humanity surviving around the last stars in the universe, and possibly black holes before the universe grows completely dark, entering into one of its final states, like heat death, the big rip, or perhaps the big crunch, where you will finally see the universe reborn, a time that will take so absurdly long to happen that we can't put a number to it, and unless you come up with some star forging technology, this is a fate you will get to fully see and experience alone. But if none of this was very interesting, then I saved an interesting fact 
for last. Despite this bleakness, the near future would be amazing to see. And while we don't have a magic lamp or set of Dragon Balls to get there, we can explore more interesting ideas through videos on our favorite heroes, like how crazy sleep schedules, secret disguises, and even metal claws would work right now. And remember, it's all a trick. See you in the next one.